Hey, this is Coach T, your transformation strategist. Hey, so glad to see you today on Fit Fridays. Want to talk to you today about the power of a dynamic core. I think it's important that you begin to think about your core. Your core holds everything together. A lot of people uh, only think about the core as far as six pack abs, or now this new thing, eight pack abs. But I want you to think more about your core in regards to not just your physical core, but the people who you keep around you or the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that keep you going. Your core is important to sustain you. If you don't have a solid core, everything else kind of wobbles around or just, there's no structure to hold everything in the support place. So don't just get comfortable building big arms, building big legs. Don't get comfortable of having a big business or a lot of people around you, but not a solid core. There's something called the Pareto Principle. The 2080 rule, basically 20% of the people do 80% of the work. Now think about this, the abs are not real big muscles, but that 20%, if you will, of muscle mass carries the, the majority of the rest of the body. It keeps everything intact. Now don't do the math and say that abs are 20% of your muscles. That's not what I'm saying. Just equating it to the Pareto Principle. This is a small group of muscles, but they're a very important group of muscles. So I want you to stay tuned because I'm going to show you three different exercises to help you build your core and at the same time build your upper body and your lower body. Don't forget the core. We're not just looking for six pack abs, but we're looking for solid people around us, solid routines that's going to give us sustainability that we need in 2017. Hey, this is A Tigney. Hold tight. We're going to show you those exercises. Let's go. So, with this exercise, you're basically coming down, keeping the core engaged, and coming up. Bending at the arms, coming back up. Core is fully engaged. This is essential to building not only the chest and those arms, but it's keeping that core engaged and creating a dynamic core. So here, we're gonna go ahead and do a squat, engaging those glutes, coming back up, keeping the core engaged, and coming up, glutes, keeping the knees from going over, and keeping that core engaged, this is building that core, it's building those legs, the glutes, it's basically a full body workout, and your core is at the center. So starting off in the plank and then you're going to bring your knees in, keeping that core engaged. Feeling the squeeze, fully extend. Let's go for 15. It's not about speed, it's really about feeling the core, those abs coming in. Keep going for 15. When you're done, we'll talk more about the power of a dynamic core. Wow, those three exercises was phenomenally exhausting. And that's the way it is. When you have a straight core, it's gonna allow you to get all the stuff done that you need to do. You may be a little bit tired, but check this out. The growth that you'll experience is gonna be well worth it. When you're working with a team of people, sometimes it seems like the investment may not be worth it, don't underestimate it. You will begin to see that when you build your core, everything else will be able to be sustained based on the core team that you've built. Hey, this is A. Tigney, your transformation coach. A shout out to our T4 Nation. Those of you who are following us with the T formation process, God bless and do what you do the way you do it. <laughs>